A good morning, English tenors. How is it going? I think this is uh, week seven of distance learning. I'm not quite sure. It might be week eight. I don't know. They've all kind of just tied together. Um, but we are done with Of Mice and Men, and we are moving on. Um, hope you enjoyed Of Mice and Men. It was, it's a great book, and uh, I wish we could have done it uh, together um, in school and whatnot, but uh, we're just playing with the cards that we're dealt with, right? Um, we just have about two and a half weeks, roughly two weeks, three weeks left of school, left of distance learning. So make sure that you finish strong and uh, continue doing what you need to do. All right. So uh, we are moving on to something different. We'll go over that here in just a second, but let's uh, pull up the May calendar and go over that real quick. Uh, as that opens up. All right, here we are, May 11th. Okay, so we are moving on to reading, uh, it's, a read, it's a graphic novel plot assignment, okay? So, for this week, week uh, May 11th to the 15th and May 18th to the 22nd, you'll be reading one story, one short graphic novel. I'm going to show you what those look like here in a second. And then you're completing the plot diagram assignment of that story, okay? Um... So this week, you'll have this assignment, this A to Z final, and then I believe June 1 and 2 is you'll be turning in iPads. And again, I don't know exactly um, what that's going to look like, but uh, if once I get information, I'll, I'll let you know, okay? All right, let's go back out to our main page, and let's go down into the graphic Graphic Story Plot Study, May 11th to the 22nd for the next two weeks. All right, so here's your choices. There's five stories here. Father's Day, Something to Tide You Over, The Crate, Lonesome Death of Jordy Verrill, and They're Creeping Up on You. These are um, comics, basically, written by Stephen King. So they've got some horror, some supernatural, some gore to them. All right. So let's first off look at the stories, just real quick. Uh, so Father's Day is uh, basically a family is celebrating Father's Day, and the father, day, the father of the story comes back to life. So here's what it looks like. It's just basically a comic strip, um, but it's just a horror comic strip. And so we scroll down here, and let's see. Where is it? Yeah, so as you can see, the father on Father's Day is coming back to life and all kinds of stuff ensues. Okay, uh, so that's Father's Day. That's the first story. The next one, Something to Tide You Over, is uh, a story about two people who are having an affair and the guy gets revenge on them. Okay, as you can see, this guy, he's buried in the sand and so forth and this guy is getting revenge and then things change and all right, so there's that one. Something to tide you over. Uh, the next story, The Crate, is about a, 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 a professor at a college. He, um, he, he finds a crate that has a, some sort of monster. He's got a wife that's really bad. Anyway, um, so underneath here is a crate with this monster in it. And uh, yeah, so this one's called The Crate. All right. Um, what else do we got? We have The Lonesome Death of Jordy Verrill. This one is about a meteor that hits by this guy's house, Jordy Verrill's house. He goes and touches it. Well, soon, as you'll read, as you'll see, this weird grass stuff starts growing. And it basically um, covers Jordy in uh, all this grass-like kind of stuff. And it's... Uh, the story is about is about that. As you can see up here, it's 12 pages. It'll tell you how long the story is. Okay, and my loading the story very slowly. Um, so anyway, so that's uh, the death, the uh, the death, uh, the lonesome death of Jordy Verrill. And then the last one is about bugs. The last one is about cockroaches. They're creeping up on you. It's about a rich guy who is a germaphobe, and he. Um, he lives in this apartment, and uh, he's killing cockroaches, and he's he's not a good guy at all. And uh, I'm not going to open that one. 
but that one that's what it's about it's about uh it's about cockroaches and this guy who's a germaphobe and bad stuff that happens okay so you read you pick one of those stories you just got to read one story um this week and then you're going to fill you open up the assignment uh graphic story plot diagram assignment number one you bring this into notability you're gonna have to do it in notability because all i got is a pdf for it and here is the plot diagram well, you guys have done plot diagrams before with uh with, with short stories, uh, this is nothing new uh, for you. And you're just plotting out the story in the plot diagram, okay? So who's the main character? Who's the antagonist? Um, what's the setting of the story? Time and place, okay? What's the conflict? What's the problem? Okay, so you're just following the numbers. One, number two, number three, okay? And then we have a, some rising action, you know, a couple, two, three things that lead to the turning point or the climax. And then what happens after that, that climax, that turning point, is a falling action. And then how does the story end? Okay? Don't worry about theme. You don't have to do number eight. You can just skip that. I'm not, I, there's, you don't have to worry about coming up with a theme. Okay? Title of the story, the author is Stephen King. Genre is horror. And that's it. Okay? So fill, what, read one of the stories, one of those five stories. Fill out the plot diagram, and away you go. Okay? Um, that's really all I have for you. Again, if you have anything missing, uh, get it turned in, and I will get it in the gradebook. I'll take care of it. Um, if you have any technology issues, any issues with any of this stuff, let me know. I'll help you out as best I can. Uh, and make sure to communicate. Okay? Other than that, have a good week. Take care of yourself, take care of your friends, take care of your family, and we will talk to you later. Bye.